morning my loves so we are going to try some of Nagoya's local cuisine first stop is trying their udon not just any type of udon it's like an udon in a miso based broth and then after that we are going to try some ebi tenmusu which is like really long fried shrimp, fried shrimp yeah. yes and then we're going to go to the bottom of a, their oldest department store and try a couple of their snacks as well. So hopefully there isn't a line because anything popular here, there tends to be a line at the restaurants. So let's go eat. This is the muki sochu, which is like a barley um, sochu on the rocks. Give it a go, come on. The miso beef tendon. You want to give it a go? Sugoi. Sugoi. Here we go. Here is the udon. Wow. Supposed to use the lid as a plate to cool the noodles down because the pot is super hot. As you can see. I just want to stir up this egg. Look how yellow the yolk is. Yeah. I don't think we've ever had the red miso broth. Well, this is a Nagoya oh, yeah, specialty. Yeah. The noodles remind me of like my mum's noodles slightly. Mm. I know these are some expensive fruit but I bet you they are just amazing individually wrapped now that's an expensive mango oh, 1350 oh, wow oh my goodness look at this one that's a hundred and eight dollars look at the size of that apple oh my goodness I love cherries Look how they're wrapped. Okay, look at these jumbo grapes. $130 for grapes. Look, this is his and hers. <laughs> his and hers rock melon. And the juiciest peaches you will ever see. Oh my gosh, is this rambutan? Or lychee? Oh my goodness, you just want to try it. All right, we're back in the hotel room and we're going to try some of the ebi sembe. What, what is an ebi sembe? It's like a rice cracker, but rice different flavors. Cracker. And this one I liked because it was so cute. It's got all the different flavors. Look, I don't know what the different flavors are, but look, they even got a little mini prawn one. So they're like prawn crackers basically. Yeah, they're and like these are a Nagoya crackers. specialty. Yeah, and they've got different flavors. Okay, I'll try, let's try the plain one first. Mmm, crunchy. This one's prawn flavored. And for hubs, thanks. Try the green one. Matcha? Mmm. Yeah, matcha. But not strong. And then this one. It looks like some roasted. Oh, that tastes like a Chinese one. Roasted sesame. Mmm. No, I'm gonna try the prawn. It's funny. Last one. Oh, by the way, that only cost 130 yen, which is mm. the equivalent of about $1.30. dollar thirty. It's good to try. Sugoi? Mm. And what do we got here? This is the Oni Manju. So and this that? was a must try as well. This is sweet potato rice cakes. Yeah. It looks Quite glutinous, look. Does that paper underneath? No. No. Mm. I don't like vegetables and desserts. When you get into it, it definitely tastes like sweet potato, but it's like glutinous sweet potato. It's quite filling. Mm. Pretty dense. 
Mm. Yeah. Mm. Not my face. I thought we were only bought a two pack. Good to try anyway. So after eating some of the yummy food, we are heading back to do more vintage shopping. We didn't get to do everything in Osu that we wanted yesterday. So I'm going to try some more of the snacks and Javi's enjoying it too because a lot of the vintage shops have watches too, doesn't oh, there's it? so many watches. Hopefully we find something. I'm really hoping we find something for Hubs. So off to Osu again. It's very close to our hotel and then tonight I think we're gonna eat some of the shrimp. More shrimp. More shrimp. Okay, first stop is Komehyo. This is the third Komehyo just in the Osu district. But looking at how it's merchandised, it looks like the stock is cheaper. Hopefully. Look at how many bags they have. Look how everything is colour coded. So here is the green section. This green Gucci bag, that's 650. This is 3,400 for an Hermes garden party. So you can see the rank here, B, which is usually just good. Here is the ready orangey section, yellow section. A, B is near mint. B is pre-owned. Okay, so see what I mean? Like their ranking system is a bit different because usually A, B just means good. It wouldn't mean near mint condition. Tons and tons of Gucci as well. So something like this is 1,650. This is 500 for this Celine bag. Yeah, there's just so much, guys. They also have a section of all men's LV. Something for everyone, which I really like. Price is like 17,000, and then this one is rank A, so it's 6,000. That's not bad, but it's got a big crease down here. This blue one is 8,000, and then we have Pickertons. So this Pickerton is 4,400, 5,000. Here we go, this is 13,000, rank A. This is a uh, Autokopa. I think this is a 32. Garden parties, 4,800, this is a 36. And this one, this Birkin in Rouge H, B condition. That's not bad for 11,000, but see, a lot of scratches. Here is a garden party shoulder bag. I, you don't really see these around, but this one you can definitely wear on your shoulder. What do you guys think? So this is two and a half thousand. It's quite cute. Rank A, canvas and leather mix. Well, they have a section of new arrivals too. So we've got some LV. It's very interesting Chanel. This garden party 36. Goyard, Hermes, Prada. I understand why they had a third Komehyo. This one is very different to the others. If you love LV especially, definitely check this shop out. So after some shopping, we wanted to get a sweet treat and Japanese definitely love their desserts. So we wanted to try a fruit daifuku. So it's just like a fruit mochi and they give you this special string and we chose to get the fig one because it's pretty unique I think and I love figs as well All right, eat it up the fig. Mm. 
should be sweet and chewy. And then we came across this little Shinto shrine. It's called the Fuji Senjen Shrine. And when I did some research, it actually originally dates back to 1495. You actually can't go inside, but it was nice to come across. And also they had some of the iconic Tori gates. And even though these grounds were quite small, I just think it's really nice to go shopping and then you come across cultural places like this. So what we actually wanted to visit is the Osu Canon Temple, which is a famous Buddhist temple here in Nagoya. And I just love all these flags. We came around 3, 4 p.m. So it was a little bit less busy. And just look at this beautiful architecture. So this is located just off the Osu Shopping Arcade and it's free entry. And I saw a lot of families around feeding the pigeons. So it was a really nice relaxing stop. We also randomly came across a store called Alice on Wednesday, which you had to crouch to enter. And as you can see, it is based on Alice in Wonderland and it sold all sorts of sweets and treats and miscellaneous items. So a very cute store, which definitely makes you feel like you've wandered into a storyland. Now let's head into Brandoff, which is another big chain store. The displays are much nicer, so perhaps the prices are a bit more expensive. So this Bottega bag, yeah, this one is 3,000. Mm, 3,005, that's not cheap. Some Fendi, 1,000. The red price is the tax-free price. And this one is 3,200. That peekaboo is not bad, 2,800, the east-west shape. 2,005, that's pretty good. So again, used B, you can see used A. Some LV, this is 3,000, almost 3,300, not that cheap. This pochette, 1,005. So Dauphine, 2,001. This couple of scenes is 5,000. On the go, East West and BB. This Chanel Classic Club is 7,300 caviar and chevron. It's nice. Some of the totes. This is a vintage tote, 2,700. Garden Party, 8,200. 7,000. Kelly 25, 39,000. You'll find anything in the Kelly smaller sizes will always cost a lot more. Birkin 30, Epsom 30,000, that looks like Clemence. Mini Evelyn's, different prices. Oh, this is quite cute. I think this is the plume bag, 4,300, that's not bad. This is the Victoria, 2,700. It's Pickerton Cargo, that's not bad, 4,500. Gucci. Two thousand seven hundred. This is the Diana. Marmonts. This one here, which is their classic horse bit, that's two thousand two hundred. This is the Gucci denim in the Marmont. It's actually in pretty good condition. I know the Marmont is not as popular now, but it's not a bad price. I do like the denim version. Celine Triumph. Got a Celine shoulder bag as well. Little makeup case. This is 2,300. 1,800. I've seen a lot of people carry this one. Just a good sort of shoulder bag. Cargo. I've always liked this and it's in color Nata. I need to check the retail price though because I'm not sure this one is that much cheaper. So this is the plume in Rouge Tomate and Evercolor Leather. I think the mini would be cuter but it's not bad. It's very bright though. So 
So for vintage clothes, this is a really cool store. It's called Rush Out. Lots of vintage tees, heaps and heaps. Like look, just rows in color coded. Lots of, you know, vintage Levi's. So this is more for clothing. Hubby's favorite is polo. Let's pick a colored polo for you. They've got so many colors. How about orange? Orange? Purple? Not black. Okay, we are so tired. Now we're going to go eat some dinner. We are at Maruha, which is a seafood restaurant. It's at the top of the the Shin building. All right, so I've got some set menu. It comes with some uh, sashimi, um, but the um, ebi prawns. <laughs> prawns, the prawns, the fried prawns are coming. Okay, my set menu just came out, so I just kept it simple. You get two big fried shrimp, or as hubby said, ebi tenmusu, and then just got rice. I think this is some, yeah, miso soup. This is some other condiment, which is quite vinegary, some pickles. So I can't wait to try it. The other part is the seasonal boiled fish. Mm. Don't know what type of fish it is, but it looks like snapper or flounder. Mm, good. Good? Mm. Hi, my love. So we are heading to Nagoya Castle. Nagoya is really the correct way you should be pronouncing it. I've been saying Nagoya, which is not. <laughs> anyway, we are just getting, hubby felt like a, this is like a ninja sort of cafe, so he's getting a ninja dog. Then we're just gonna walk into the castle, have a look around. There's all these eateries just behind me, so plenty of things to eat. So yeah, looking forward to seeing the castle. All right, we got a little ninja dog. We're at Nagoya Castle, just about to go in, but we can't bring food in. It's really hot, so we're gonna eat it now. So this is Nagoya Castle. Fun fact, Nagoya Castle was Japan's first castle to be designated as a national treasure. But it was unfortunately destroyed in World War II. So what you see here is a reconstruction. So although you can't enter the tower, one of the main attractions which we're just about to enter is Honmaru Palace. And this palace was like the main residential and administrative building at the time for the lords of the castle. And the minute you walk in, you feel like you've taken a step through time. The luxurious interiors are adorned with gold leaf. They've got intricate wall paintings. And there's different rooms in this palace. So they have little signs which you can read through. And I just found it really, really interesting. So this palace has also been restored since it was also destroyed during World War II. And another little fun fact that only traditional materials and methods were used to reconstruct this building and they have done a magnificent job. Okay, so this is the Yokucho, which is a collection of small little restaurants. And it's quite quiet now because it's after lunch and we were a bit late. But I think a lot of the places might be closed, but let's have a look. I like how it's so traditional. So let's do a little taste test. This is a uh, Nagoya Ansan. No idea what that is, but they're known for their butter. Ogura toast taste. So we just got a little packet and what they have in the morning is they have toast with, I think red bean and cream, I'm not sure. It looks like a little picky. Maybe it's crunchy. Let's try. Hopefully it's crumbly. Oh, I think it's... No, I think it's soft. I actually think it's soft. Yeah, it's not crumb... Oh. oh, it looks like toast. It's like toast with... Ready? It's kind of cakey. And cream and... I don't even know what the... Is it red bean? I can't really taste the red bean, it's just cream. Hmm. And then we came across this adorable doggy. Isn't he so cool? So now we're just on our way to an early dinner. So 
where we are at the Pichimabushi uh, uh, Binchong and we've got the set. So part of the set is fish bones. Spine, isn't it? Spine, yeah. Part of the kaiseki is some more grilled eel. This is not the Hitsumabushi style, but grilled eel nonetheless. Sauce. Mm. Sugoi. <laughs> All right, more of the set menus come out. We've got the eel salad. This is eel guts, which I've never tried before, but Let's give it a go. And I think this is eel and pickle. So I think it's uh, like pickled, pi with pickled uh, vegetables. Yeah. All okay, right. so this is the Hitsumabushi. So mm -hmm. here you've got the actual Hitsumabushi, which is the unagi. It smells really nice. These are just the bowls. Obviously, these are the pickles and the leek or cabbage. This is the broth that you oh. put in later. Yeah. This is soup. Oh, it's got a bit of a vacuum on it. And that's some soup there as well. And these are the condiments and the seaweed. That looks great. Okay, I'm going to serve it up. There's also this place called Book Off Super Bazaar. It's got a lot of clothes, shoes, jewelry, some bags. Let's take a look at the bags. Oh, they have some watches as well. So that's 3000 for that garden party. 2000. Oh, this one has a shoulder strap too. 2200. Some Evelyn's in the big sizes. A tote. I have this in the clear version though. Chanel 2200. You've got this reissue tote. 1500 that's not a bad price sorry guys you can kind of see my reflection but this jumbo is 7600 some of the vintage ones that's pretty good price but it's not in great condition 2300 3000 yeah these prices tend to be a bit better this Chanel Kelly's 4000 Chanel GST 3300 a vintage version two and a half thousand so forth. This boy is quite special. It's got stingray and leather, 4,800. This one is 1,400. They've also got some shoes. Oh, they even have a couple of Delvo bags. 6,000, 7,000. This denim LV Speedy, 3,200. <laughs> Look at this. Couple of scenes, 5,400. Some Dior book totes in the small. In the Parco department store, there's this really cool vintage store. It's got like lots of cool clothes takes up a lot of the area I'm not sure it has designer stuff but it's got a lot of cool vintage things so let's check out ragtag I think this is mainly vintage clothes but you never know so they have some LV but not that much this is 1112 not bad this is, I think this is a belt bag. It's kind of cute. They've got Celine. Some of these styles are a lot older. This Celine vintage bag, it's about 500. So I just love that there's so much pre-love shopping in Nagoya and this place was pretty near our hotel. So we're just gonna call it a night since tomorrow we are off to Hakone. Final day in Nagoya, and of course, we need to try their famous flat noodles, which is called the Kishimen. I got it with the beef. And Hubby got his with the beef, and I got the tempura one. Go, Hubs, have a try. All right. So, this is a must try in Nagoya. You can see the noodles are really flat. 
Mm. Nice. The texture's so good. The texture's really good. Mm. Looks great. Okay, I'm gonna dig in. So I hope you enjoyed all my Nagoya content. Next up, we are off to Hakone, which is known for its natural hot springs. So can't wait to show you that. Thanks so much for watching, guys.